Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, December 20th. It's the fourth week in Advent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 67, and Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, to chapter 21, verse 8. And now please join me in singing the fourth verse of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus. By thine own eternal spirit, rule in all our hearts alone. By thine all-sufficient merit, raise us to thy glorious throne. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. Psalm 67, and please recite it with me. Be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us, that your way may be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you shall judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise you, O God, let all the people praise you. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and you, our God, shall bless us. You shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Be merciful to us and bless us, and shine the light of your face upon us. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 20, beginning at verse 11. And then I saw a great white throne, and the one who sat on it. The earth and the heaven fled from his presence, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Also another book was opened, the book of life, and the dead were judged according to their works as recorded in the books. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it. Death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and all were judged according to what they had done. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. And anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. And then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. 
And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be my, their God, and they will be my children. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the polluted, the murderers, the fornicators, the sorcerers, the idolaters, and all liars, their place will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O merciful God, shine your light on us, that we may see your face, and that your way may be made known in all the earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.